Hey guys, LuckyHD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the unsolved mystery of Jake's Pokemon from Pokemon Brick Bronze, where they went to, and more. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you go down there, like, and subscribe. I know, like, 60% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you would, go down there, hit the subscribe button, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so let's start with what happened to Jake. Now, we do know that Jake jumped in front of Tessa's way to save her from a box that was hurtling towards her that would have thrown her inside of the portal that would have brought her to Lumion Legacy. Now, we do know that this exact box and Jake both ended up inside of Lumion Legacy. Now, we know Jake, of course, landed inside of Lumion Legacy. You know, he's inside of the story. He's walking around. He's breathing, and he's doing all of that stuff. But something that is, you know, not really as known and kind of forgotten about is that the box actually does make a return inside of Sephirite City. If we actually go and look inside of the Sephirite City junkyard, you can see the exact same box that ended up through the portal laying on the ground, and actually somebody is wearing one of the Team Eclipse shirts. Now, the thing about this is, of course, you know, this box came through here, and it kind of did a little bit of a transformation and stuff some of it some of the stuff changed and you know the shirts inside of it changed as well and you know to be able to obviously fit the person wearing it of course you know we know that i don't think a giant you know fat shirt that would have fit one of the obviously the team eclipse members and the entire r6 blocky style would fit on somebody with an arthro avatar but hey obviously things could change this is going to be an important part later into the video, but let's obviously talk about what happened with Jake's Pokemon. Now, we do know that when Jake was falling, he was falling at a downward motion. And what I mean by that is he was falling kind of straight up, okay? He wasn't, you know, kind of tumbling. He wasn't, like, shaking around. He was just specifically falling straight up. And this is actually a popular theory that Jake actually lost his Pokeballs when he was falling like this. And the thing about this is, you know, this can be disproven, of course, with the entire trailer of Worlds Apart. We see more of what happened to Jake when he was falling inside of the portal. He was, of course, falling straight down. And, you know, the entire thing is that, you know, oh, you know, Jake's Pokeballs fell out when he was obviously going straight down. And this is, you know, very logical. I will say that this does have some merit to it. But you gotta think about, you know, when he was falling and stuff, he actually does eventually turn around. And, you know, if he did have the Pokeballs in his, obviously, pants pocket, like a lot of people are suggesting, then obviously that would mean that, you know, we would see that. We would see the Pokeballs flying out of it and we would see them being lost. And I think that obviously T. Bradham and all of them would have, you know, come up with a logical explanation for what actually happened to the Pokeballs. And, I mean, listen, if T. Bradham is, is watching on this video and he wants to come forward and, you know, bring in a logical explanation to what happened with Jake's Pokeballs and Pokemon in general, I will pin the comment. Probably won't happen, but it would be nice to obviously see an end to this theory. Alright, so now let's talk about, of course, the crate. The infamous crate or box that's obviously pushed Jake in. We do know that it also went into the exact same portal as Jake and went through at the exact same time. Now, the thing about this is it landed in a different portal. Now, if we assume this logically, right, that would mean that obviously two different things, if two different things were going through the exact same portal, it is going to have two different ends. And what I mean by that, obviously Jake ended up in Midas Town, and then the box ended up in the junkyard. And the thing about this is, again, you gotta kind of look at it as, you know, Jake falls through this one portal, and then the box goes through the other one, but despite them being both in the exact same portal. So how does this actually work? Well, I believe that is this is kind of like a, again, this is a really far-fetched theory, but it's kind of an entire thing of, you know, when Jake falls through, he is basically opening up a portal, and the amount of objects in there are also opening up a portal to the exact same world. And what I think happened is that Jake's Pokemon actually fell through and went into different portals. Now, just gotta put this out there. This is, of course, you know, just like I mentioned at the start uh, with the disclaimer and stuff. This is kind of a counterclaim to the original thing that I was talking about with Jake obviously having the Pokeball still on him. This is kind of a thing of, you know, what if, you know, the Pokeballs actually fell out while he was going down, right? Because there is, you know, a section of the video where we do see Jake continuing to fall. We don't see the entire trip, so this very well could be possible. And they actually got scattered around the map. Now, the thing is, you know, will we actually be able to go and, you know, find, obviously, the Pokeballs? No. But, you know, I think that it would be definitely very interesting if Jake were to go on his own side quest to, obviously, go, you know, locate and track down all of these Pokemon. Maybe, you know, some of the Pokemon got lost. You know, he'll never be able to find them again. But what if there is that rare chance where Jake actually finds one of his Pokemon and goes and just sees it, you know, he throws it out, and it's a completely different being. And the thing about this is I would like to talk about, of course, Lumion transformation. Now, I feel Lumions could very well transform just as much as the R6 characters could transform into the Arthro characters. 
And the thing about this is, of course, you know, you have all of these Pokemon on his team, and, you know, what happens to them? And, you know, what would actually happen to them when they went through the portal? I, I literally, I doubt that Jake would literally have this entire team that he built up, you know, just to release them all as soon as he sees them inside of Lumion Legacy. Like, I feel like there has to be a very, very, like, a much more logical explanation to this than, you know, just, oh, hey, you know, they just disappeared, or, oh, hey, you know, they're lost forever, get over it, right? Like, I think it would be very cool to see some of these actually, you know, f turn from Pokemon into Lumians. And the thing about this, guys, is you gotta understand that Tess, Tess's main Pokemon was Garchomp, okay? She used that Garchomp so much, and that thing was an absolute nightmare to go up against. And again, the thing about this is it was her main Pokemon, and with her going to find Jake, I highly, 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 highly doubt that she would just completely leave Garchomp in the Pokemon Brick Bronze world and say, you know what, Garchomp, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go start a new life in this other dimension. Like, do you see where I'm kind of going with this, right? You know, she would, in her, in her thought process, she would assume that she could take her Pokemon with her. You know, nothing would be done, you know, she doesn't know about copyright, Tess doesn't know about copyright, and obviously the entire thing with Pokemon Brick Bronze and Lumion Legacy. No, this, we're of course following a fictional story. And if one of her main Pokemon, being Garchomp, were to actually turn into a Lumion, I think it would be very interesting to see something like the video that I created the other day, and it turned into something like Hammerer. Of course, it is the exact same animal species, you know, but it does have some physical characteristics that are changed. Its typing is a little bit changed, not too much though. It just goes from a dragon ground type to a dragon and water type. It's just completely switching the types and stuff. So kind of think, you know, sort of like Alolan forms or Galarian forms. Just imagine this as like a Galarian Garchomp, you know, it'd be something like that. Or, you know, a Rorian Garchomp, you could kind of think of it like that, right? But of course, it would be under a different name. Now, there is, of course, some concept art that I actually made for this, and I will put that up on screen. Of course, I don't have access to the actual Tess Arthro model, so it's going to look a little bit different, but this is obviously the Pokemon Brick Bronze version of Tess with Hammeroar, you know, the kind of Rorian Garchomp thing that I was talking about. Again, I made a video on the entire evolutionary line if you want to go check that out. But, yeah, I mean, listen, do I think that Lumion Legacy will do this? No. Do I think that they should? 100% yes. I think that, you know, having something like this for, obviously, the players that played Pokemon Brick Bronze, don't get me wrong, there's already a lot of stuff inside of Lumion Legacy that references Pokemon Brick Bronze, but there is nothing necessarily that is kind of a... Just, it, it kind of pays homage to, you know, stuff that is actually Pokemon without being Pokemon, if that, if that kind of makes sense. And again, though, something like this would be very, very awesome, you know, to see Tess's entire team return, but in Lumion form. Of course, we already have something similar to this. We have, you know, Gardrone and Magnezone, Infernix and Moltres. Even Infernix's Gleams and Gammas are literally Zapdos and Articuno. You know, and, and it, there's just so many similarities with, obviously, Pokemon and Lumions and stuff that, you know, it kind of just warrants, you know, at least something like this to happen. Now, closing off this video, what do I think happened to Jake's Pokemon? Well, I do believe believe that they actually did fall out of his pocket, but the thing is, I feel like they fell into, obviously, different portals. These portals all went to Lumion Legacy, this includes the box, this includes everything. I feel it is extremely illogical for Jake to, you know, his Pokemon just to have disappeared or something, and I feel that there definitely needs to be some little kind of story element to it that would introduce these kind of, you know, Pokemon back into the game. And yeah, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts about everything down in the comments below. This is definitely a big mystery that we will have to wait and see, you know, obviously what they do with inside of the next couple of updates. I feel that we will get answers to it this year sometime. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go to that like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.